Hello and welcome to my channel Making Crafts. Today I'm going to do a flip through of my With a Touch of Lace journal and this journal was created using a With a Touch of Lace digital kit by Happiness and Crafting by G. Kerr and I also used some of her Friday freebies as well as her embellishment kit. So I will link to all of those below in the description. I also have several videos showing how I created this journal so I will link to a playlist and if you click on the playlist then you can choose which video you would like to see in this series. And so if you've not seen all of them, you may want to go back and see some of them to see how I've created certain things. So for the cover, I have covered a piece of, um, well, I've covered some packaging, a bubble mailer, and I've covered it with canvas, and then I've layered lace on top of that. And then I've layered some cardstock, coffee stain paper, and then a card from the, from the kit, a journaling card from the kit. And then I've also added a little dolly here, and then um, I've cut a little flower from a piece of lace, and then added a pearl. And this is a pocket, and in the pocket is just a little accordion notebook. And it's just a, like a little hidden notebook there. And I really love how the whole cover turned out. I love this lace, and I love um, how it turned out. And I've just used several different pieces of lace in this, but they all are close to the same color, so it all looks really good and blends together. So for the inside, I have made a large lace pocket on the inside one and the back side the front and back and so in this pocket i've just put some scrap papers we made these in roxy's weekly challenge several weeks ago and so this is just scrap papers from several of g's kits as well as um, papers from just scrapbook papers and some music sheets and different things that you could use in your journal to collage or you could use these to embellish the journal so for the first page i did use 65 pound cardstock and um, this is a page from the kit. I've added a little charm, and it's a little clock with some gears, and then I've added some crocheted lace. Then on the next page, I have a little dolly pocket with some journaling cards from the kit, as well as I've added a little journaling spot right here at the bottom. So it's just a little book there. Then I've added a dolly and then another book page, and I've sewn two book pages together to make a side pocket. And so in the side pocket, I have a video for this. It's just a little trifold that I made using some packaging, brown packaging paper that came in, the, I think, an Amazon package. And so I've just decorated it up with some collage and made a little pocket here on the one of the pieces, and then I've collaged the front of it. And then on the back, you could journal or um, it's just a decoration with Tim Holtz paper. And it fits perfectly in that little pocket. So then here's a book page that I thought looked really good with these flowers, so I added it. And then some coffee stain paper. A scrapbook page that I've had for years and years, and so I thought it looked really good with this kit, so I added it. And then you just got a good spot to journal there. And then here is another page from the kit that I've added some um, crocheted kind of cotton lace to it and then I've added an envelope as a flip out and I've just collaged the envelope and then inside it is a journaling card that I've backed with coffee stain paper and then I've left this blank for journaling and this whole page for journaling and then here is another pocket that I've made with two book pages but this time I sewed the bottom and the side so that the top is a pocket and in it is a fabric tag that I've stamped on and I've sewn around and then I've added and these are embellishments from Happiness and Crafting's embellishment kit. Let's see if I can get that back in there. And then I've just collaged on the back of it. So here is another little project we made in a Roxy's Weekly Challenge, but I did not do it the same. These were supposed to be pockets, but for this one, it is a pocket on the front and then it flips out to a journaling spot. And then in the back of it is another pocket holding another fabric tag that's been stamped and some more embellishments from the kit has been added there, from the embellishment kit. And this is all attached to a fabric page and I've added lace to the edge of this fabric page and then I've added a little charm that says love. And the page is also a pocket, so in the pocket is a journaling card that we made on one of Roxy's weekly challenges. And then here's another pocket that I've made in that challenge. And I've just added it here because I thought it looked really good with this kit. And then here's a fabric tag that I've stamped and added some embellishments to, and then some little pearls. And this is from her embellishment kit, but it matches perfectly with this kit. 
so I thought that, that would be great to put together. Here is a paper bag that I have added some napkin to, as well as a piece of a pocket from the kit, and then I've just added, and I've added some pink lace, and then a journaling card that I created. And then on the back side is just some napkin that's been um, added to this page. And I love the feel of napkin when it's been added to a page. Oh, and this page is also a pocket, and it has another fabric tag. And these are just embellishments for her embellishment kit. And I've stamped it with some buttons and some script writing. And all the tags were made using muslin. So, and then they're also backed with cardstock and collaged. Or maybe they're just backed with book page and collage and sewn, sewn around. So they're thick. They're not floppy like you would think fabric would be. And then here is a music sheet I've put in. It's just a hymnal. And then here is another page from the kit. And I thought these pages were great for journaling. And then we have another page from the kit. A book page here. That's the other side of the book page. I thought these flowers looked great with this kit. This is an envelope that I have... Just decorate it up with some of the Friday freebies and a book page and some lace. And then the back side is a spot to journal on, but then it also holds a journaling card that I've created. Doing some collage, and then I've backed it with some of that brown paper like I used for the little trifolds. Get that back in there. Okay. And I've just lined the pocket with some uh, music sheets, some hymnal. So this is a vellum page that I have embossed with gold embossing powder. I've just stamped it and then used gold embossing powder. And then underneath is a book page. And then on the back side is just a great spot to journal. And then I have more journaling spots here. And this page, all the other pages, the first page is 65 pound cardstock. Then all the other pages are 32 pound premium paper, unless I specified like they were envelope or cloth page or or you know, like a paper bag. And then the center page, which is this one, I've used 65 pound cardstock again. And so it's just book pages. And I've added a little bitty paper bag here that I've just decorated up and then added some little tags, just some journaling spots. Well, not tags, these are just kind of like some little journaling cards. And then I've just decorated up with pieces from the kit and some book pages. And then I've added another little pocket inside the pocket here. And so then this has just been decorated up with various things. And I do have a video explaining how I did all this and showing how, the process of it. And so that's another book page. And so there, here is another piece of vellum that I have heat embossed with some gold embossing powder. And then it is a flip up so that you can journal underneath. And then we have another just plain journaling page here. And then a book page from the kit. And then this is a pocket that I've created onto one of the book pages. And I've added a little journaling card there from Tim Holtz. It's just a piece of paper that I've turned into a journaling card, and that's from Tim Holtz. And this is Tim Holtz paper as well, but I thought this paper went really good with this kit. So here is another page from the kit. Several of these are just pages from the kit. And then the other side of that hymnal. And then this is the flap that was left over from the paper bag. So I have just cut down a book page and just cut around the flowers and added it to that flap. And then I've made a pocket here from, I think this was a pocket in the kit actually, or a journaling card, and then just added some lace to turn it into a pocket. And then I've put a little journaling, well, a little journal in here that I created. And I created this journal using brown paper recycled again from packaging. And I really love, I love writing on that paper. I think it looks really neat. My pens always look so dark on it. And then I do tie this up with a little bow. But I won't take the time to do that now. And it's all attached to the fabric book page. And so once again, that's another pocket. Let's see if we can. And inside it is another one of the journaling cards we made on Roxy's Weekly Challenge. It's just a script journaling card. And then the back side has lace, has a fabric pocket that's been, um, I've attached one of the little journaling cards from the kit, and a dolly. And then just a little um, little cluster, little piece that I have made here, which is some scrap paper and then embellishment from her embellishment kit. 
And then I've just added some journaling cards from the um, kit. And then here's one I've made just using a journaling card from the kit and then some Tim Holtz paper. And then here I have two book pages I've sewn together again, and they are a pocket. And so that I've left that one. You can add whatever you want to to that one. And then I have a um, cotton crocheted lace pocket here with some embellishment. And then inside it I have just a little notebook that I've created using some more leftover that packaging. And then I've just embellished it there with some, just like a little bit of this, um, lace and then a little heart and then the lace wraps around to the back side which makes it a little pocket for a little miniature tag and journaling spot i just thought that was cute here is another envelope that i have collaged both front and back and then i've just added it to the page as a flip out and i've added a little journaling card from the kit and then i backed it with some tea or a coffee stain paper and then on the back side of it i've added some more of the lace the crocheted cotton lace and then we have just a good journaling page here in the back and then the that scrapbook paper again the coffee stain paper this was a Friday freebie except for this part I've added this to it this was a Friday freebie that had two little long tags that come with it and I've just backed those with coffee stain paper and then I've added a little pocket from the kit this was just a little um, embellishment from the kit and so I just turned it into a pocket and then I've added itty bitty little journaling cards here. And these from, from different Friday freebies. And then I think that's Tim Holtz. And then I've just added another card, that, journaling card that I created. And I do this in one of my videos. I think this one's in the finishing up the journal video. And so I've just created a little journaling card there. And all this was attached to the book page. And there's the back side of the book page. I thought these flowers were gorgeous. And I thought they looked really good with this kit. So then here is another pocket page that I made, and it has a trifold in it as well. And that the little trifold has a pocket, and I've just embellished it up. And you can journal in lots of spots on there. And then I've gone ahead and signed the book. So it says, Made by Susan Reynolds. And in parentheses, I put Making Crafts. I always like to put my name and my YouTube name on the books that I make, and I like to sign them since I made these on my channel. I like to um, sign them so that you know where they come from if you purchase it. And then I have another little doily here. And this is a Friday freebie pocket that I have just embellished with some book page and just some decorations. Add a little journaling card there. And the behind it, oops, behind it is some more journaling cards. And you could put a lot more in that pocket. That pocket could actually hold something big because it's just a tuck spot so that you can tuck anything in. And then here's some more. It's different, but it's some more crocheted lace or cotton lace that I've added to the page. And then the last page, which is, and this page is um, the cardstock. And then we've got the pocket that I've left empty so you can add whatever you want to to it. And so that is the journal, and I really love how it turned out. It is very chunky, and I know this was a long flip through, but that's because the journal is so full. It is a very full journal, but I love it. Um, it, it the more I added to it, the chunkier it got. And when I started, I, I didn't know it was going to be this chunky, but I really love how it turned out. I love everything in it. So I hope that you've enjoyed seeing this series and watching me create this journal. And... If you've not seen all the videos, once again, I will have the playlist below so you can check those out. And I hope that you um, will take a look at those if you haven't seen them. And thank you so much for watching. Oh, and I forgot to add that I will be uploading this one. I will make a listing for this one in my Etsy shop. So once this video is uploaded, it may take me an hour or so to get the listing to go live. But there will be a listing with this journal once I get the video completed and uploaded. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.